Hey Leo, what's up? I'm back with another reading. Um, it is a general reading, guys. This may or may not resonate. And if you need a person reading, all that information is going to be down below in the description box. Please keep in mind, energy moves and flows. This could be your energy, the person you're dealing with, okay? So feel free to switch the energies vice versa. All right? You can flip the story. You can flip the um, flip, um, energies. A card just and a card just flipped too. All right, so now what I'm getting here is that right now there has been a breakup, a separation, or a disconnection between you both. One of you has been emotionally more involved than the other here. Is what I'm getting here. Um, maybe this was more of a sexual relationship, or this was just someone here who lacks commitment. Okay, this person of you that you're dealing with is a very very stubborn individual. All right, this person refuses to cooperate. This person refuses to compromise. Okay, they don't want to let their guards down, and they want to keep doing what they think is right. Okay, this person here is just, you know, instead of being, um, you know. A little bit of uh, flexible and adaptive right I feel you're dealing with someone here instead of the strength and willpower I feel there's a lot of stubbornness a lot of rigidity you know and the like like I said right refusing to compromise they're on the defense side and being very very defensive right now all right with the four of swords in reverse yes the current situation here I feel there is like this mental breakdown that both of you all are having here or one of you Someone out here is probably just being very, very restless, overthinking, overanalyzing everything right now, okay? Uh, there is a need to hold back and think about a situation in a very calm way. But the overthinking and overanalyzing is destroying everything out here, okay? So someone out here is very, very restless and I feel that one of, both of y'all are reaching a point of burnout out here. Uh, you view them as the seven of swords so you definitely see them as someone who's trying to escape who's trying to run away you know trying to run away from commitment or someone who lied who cheated who tried to sneak or someone you know who was just playing dirty games with you but the seven of swords is definitely someone here who you know who probably either made promises to you and they uh, were very overconfident that they could get away with something or they just try to run away from commitment they just try to escape that's an escapist okay king of pentacles is how they view you so they see you as someone who's very very good financially very stable very secure uh, very practical very reliable okay and very uh, realistic okay so yeah they do see you as someone here who's doing very very well financially and you're doing very well for yourself and you're pretty set okay you're pretty set and you're just doing overall your life is great the root of the issue here is the page of cups in reverse here you're dealing with someone here who has a hard time opening up a hard time who's not being able to express themselves emotionally now this could be either because they in the past they had an issue here where they were hurt could be childhood issues okay where they were uh, probably taught to not open up their feelings and not to be vulnerable to the opposite person here because it could be dangerous something like that here but a page of cups in reverse is definitely someone here who's being really extremely kiddish right now okay when they're in the upright they're anyways very kiddish when they're in the reverse oh my god they're just too much okay that's just too much to handle out here and uh, you coming up as the queen of swords here my god you, this is someone here who's just not wanting to be emotionally vulnerable okay they're not that's escapism that's someone who's very insecure within themselves if they open up oh my god what's going to happen something like that queen of swords here and the ten of pentacles in reverse here i feel that right now there is a lack of stability and security in your connection here okay and you're coming up as someone here who's being very very logical you don't got any time for bullshit okay and uh, you're just not interested in anything if it's not up to your level if it's not something that you want if it's not something secure if it's not something stable you're out okay because the ten of pentacles in reverse is the card of where there is a lack of commitment there is a lack of stability in a connection and um, that's the kind of action you're taking because you know in your fields you're more like interested in getting something which has the roots okay uh, which uh, can give you some stability out here okay but yeah there is a lot of conflict here yeah I don't think you're on the same page with this person anymore it's more like you wanted this with this person but now you're just no longer wanting to be committed to this situation okay 
and their feelings with the wheel of fortune and the hangman here right this person out here is probably thinking that there there are changes coming okay there are changes coming this person feels that there is going to be a change that is going to be coming in this person probably even sees you as someone who's destined in their life okay but with the hangman here they're not taking any action towards you as yet they're probably trying to make a temporary sacrifice where they feel something's needed or they're trying to see things from a different point of view all right let's uh, clarify real quick the lovers and rivers Yeah. you're dealing with a player is what's going on here okay that's what's happening here you're dealing with a player here with the knight of wands in reverse here and you this person is very in and out they're very reckless very impulsive you know it's like they want things now it's like now 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 you know they're very hasty very impulsive okay it's like one moment they rush and it's like hey what's up like i want to be with you let's get into the relationship let's do this let's do that the moment they get what they want they leave Okay, because it was that rush that they had, you know, from deep within here, which you interpret as love. You interpret as, yeah, see this person's back and now they want me. This time it's going to work out well. Okay, that's the kind of person you're dealing with here. Nine of Wands in reverse. Why is that here? Nine of Wands in reverse. Six of Pentacles. This person out here is, they want the equal give and take. Okay, but they refuse to compromise. That's very sad. It could also be that this person out here is uh, kind of, you know, um, letting their guards down, okay? Actually, with this combination here, it usually looks like uh, this is someone here who's letting their guards down, okay? All this while, they had their guards up, they were trying to keep a distance from you, you know, they were trying to, you know, maintain some distance from you. Now, I feel that this person here no longer has their guards up, okay? Uh, they, they, they're ready to put in the work. They're ready to put in the work is what I'm getting here. And with the Six of Pentacles here, they want an equal give and take, okay? They now want a balanced situation here. They now want to commit to the situation. They now want... They, they realize it was a one-sided situation, okay? But um, they're ready to do this. They're ready to make it happen. What's the Four of Swords in reverse? Why is this the current situation? But they're ready to get the cards down. Nine of Cups in reverse, say... Eh? See, emotional codependence. Someone out here is not happy at all without you. Again, this is the current situation, which is like a collective current situation between you and them. So both of you are not happy probably. Okay. I think this person out here now wants to work with you on this connection. They want to put in the work. They want to commit. They want to uh, offer uh, uh, to build this relationship with you. Leo. And they're going nuts. They're going nuts. They're reaching a point of burnout. A lot of thinking. You know, instead of thinking so much, if they could just take a break, pull back for a while, and then get back to you, that would have been better. But what happens here is with the Four of Swords energy, once you go back, you know, once you go into thinking, yeah, into that thinking mode, you don't realize where to stop. And then you just get sucked into that uh, over-analyzing and overthinking, which leads to a lot of negativity, which could lead to a lot of isolation here. And it gets very tough for this person to get back onto the root here and that's what's happening here this is even emotionally draining them out seven of swords why do you view them as the seven of swords why does leo view this person as the seven of swords king of wands in reverse yes yeah, you see them as someone who runs away from commitment although you think you guys can be badass together you guys could work on this together you still may want to put in the effort here but there's a lot of homework that this person needs to do. There's too much work needed. This person needs to know you more. They need to learn more about you in order to put in the effort out here. But see, with the Knight of Wands here, King of Wands in reverse, it's more like, you know, trying to hold back, trying to be passive all the time, you know, trying to be in and out, in and out, in and out, you know, which is why there is no stability here. And the only thing I see this person is running from is commitment, you know. Uh, this could also be a player. This could also be someone who has an extra metal affair. Whatever. Take it how it resonates here. But right now, this person here, you see them as someone who's running from, you know, being overconfident and, and just trying to get away with something. The king of Pentacles. This is how they view you. Why do they view Leo as the king of Pentacles? Okay, so they see you as moving forward here. They see you as moving forward. They see you as expanding their, your horizons and just turning your back towards them and just moving forward here. They see you as someone who does not want to reconcile or someone who's just done with the drama and chaos. Okay? You're just done. You don't want 
um, to be on the same page with this person here anymore because it just it's, it's just causing too much of chaos and conflict in your life too much drama why is the page of cups in reverse here you're dealing with someone here who probably so what's happening here is that you're giving up on this connection because you've been investing into this connection for a very long time and now you see that this this connection is getting nowhere so it's like you pause you stop you reevaluate okay and you try to see if you want to put in the work here but i think it's just taking too much time and you're just being very impatient out here you probably thought that it would work out but it's just taking too much time and you're no longer wanting to wait that's why you think it's a waste of time here it's very disappointing for you here with the high priestess in reverse here uh, at the five of swords here, I feel you're not trusting your intuition. Your guards are up. Your guards are up. You're walking away. Maybe your intuition is asking you to wait. And right now you're operating more from your ego than your intuition. Queen of swords. Why is this here? Why is the queen of swords in your feelings? You just feel the situation needs to be dealt with a lot of logic and rationalizing rather than emotions. Four of Cups. Yeah, you feel rejected by this person out here. I think you feel very, very rejected. You're very upset. You're still in that negative zone. You know, you're constantly thinking about what didn't work out in the past and you're in a very low vibrational pace, you know. Very stuck in stagnant energy out here. You know, you, there is an opportunity here for you to move forward or there is an opportunity here where things can get right. But you refuse to see that opportunity here because you're so focused uh, on what didn't work out with them that you're not being able to see a chance where you can either work things out or you can just get out of this energy and move forward, you know, and look at other things. Very negative mindset is what I'm saying. What's the Wheel of Fortune here? I think this person could also be waiting for the right time. What's the Wheel of Fortune here? I think this person is waiting for the right time. Yeah, see, they're waiting for the right time with the Eight of Wands here to move forward, to move things forward quickly. Yeah, they're waiting for the time to change. They want to come and approach you at the right time here. And when they approach you, it's going to be fireworks because with the Eight of Wands here, this person is going to come out of nowhere unexpectedly. So expect a lot of communication back and forth. A lot of communication for right now they feel they're making a temporary sacrifice because they feel things are not in their in their favor something's not right there's a lot of delays frustration out here so they're just going to wait very calmly okay justice in reverse here for many of you this person knows that they're not being doing the right thing out here or they weren't fair with you you know they didn't treat you fairly but i think that's what they're wanting to do they're wanting to right a wrong ten of pentacles in reverse here why is that that's the action you want to take what's the ten of pentacles in reverse here emperor you're taking control of the situation you're taking control of your life you're setting healthy boundaries out here and it's more like if i don't get the commitment if i don't get the stability and security for you screw you i'm done okay you're just saying you're done this person here refuses to make a choice which is one of the reasons why you just have to stand up for yourself okay and just be more logical leave the emotions on the side here and just be more logical and make decisions that are uh, good for you rather than going ahead and listening to other people's opinions or just being insecure. You're just very secure where you are and you're like, you know what, putting your foot down is what I'm getting here. It is what it is. I want what I want. Okay. Uh, the hangman here. This is the action that this person plans on taking. This is like no action. Why is the hangman here? It's almost like this person does not want to take action unless and until they're not sure about what they want to do next. Why is the hangman here? So I think, yeah, with the Wheel of Fortune, they're ready to wait for the right time. Hangman? Yeah, see, when the right time is right, this person will come towards you and they'll communicate, okay? So they will come towards you because right now there's a disconnection between you both here. There has been a breakup here. They will come towards you eventually, okay? It's just going to take some time. Like, it's like when the time is right, they feel they will be at the right place at the right moment at the right time, okay? So, yeah, but the communication will come from their side. So keep your guards up, keep your boundaries up. That's a good thing to do. Queen of Wands in reverse is the outcome. Ace of Cups in reverse. Yeah, so it looks like you're dominating the situation for now. You're not taking any action towards this person. You're going to wait for this person to come towards you. And uh, you looks like emotionally you're very, very closed off, very unforgiving. And there's this kind of resentment, you know, because there's unrequited love out here. You're feeling emotionally very, very blocked. Okay. 
it's like a rough patch right now and i think you're probably very depressed very upset very sad don't because the ace of cups in reverse is a card of someone who does not know how to love themselves you probably feel you're not worth it or something like that but this is saying that you are worth it love yourself first the moment you love yourself that's how you teach the other person your value and that's how you teach them to love you okay if this is not you this is the person you're dealing with who's emotionally shut off right now because they feel you've pulled back completely you're not taking any initiative there's no action from your side out here okay because you've lost the mojo you've lost the uh, passion and this connection out here so there is no get up and get things done from your side it's more like you do it you want me you come me you come to me you earn me you know like I'm not someone here who you can just come to when you're just lonely or when you're just, you know, um, unhappy. 